Welcome to Jeans Reviews, where I basically do whatever the hell I want. Hello, everybody. You saw my intro. You know who I am. Well, I got an interesting one today. This says he films a giant, the Nephilim. Nephilim is a, a term in the Bible that talked about giants. He says he goes missing, then tragedy happens. This is the Andrew Dawson story. So let's check this out. You might not see me post ever again. My videos weren't, they weren't fake. This is the strange story of Andrew Dawson under the TikTok handle Andy Cat, who claimed on his TikTok channel to have filmed a giant on top of a mountain in the Jasper National Park in Alberta, Canada, and then documented a strange series of events trying to refilm the entity in the following months, leading up to some tragic events. Before I get into the story, I will put forth my reasoning for looking into these things. I believe the world is absolutely supernatural. I've experienced many supernatural things from God as well as in from the evil realm. And so I'm trying to discern some of these things that go on in the world through this biblical lens of the supernatural. And two verses I want to reference before getting into the story is Genesis 6, 4. There were giants in the earth in those days. And also after that, a strange supernatural entity mixed with fallen it angels. It could still be here. Or in the earth before the flood and after that. And so they come and go even still on the earth today, as well as Luke 21, 26, talking about the last days, men's hearts will faint from fear and anxiety over what is coming upon the earth. Wow. And with those points made, I will get into this story. First, worth pointing out is that the Andycap TikTok page has many posts leading up to the giant saga. And most of these posts are just your average posts, him and his family, his dog, his truck, all these different things. Just the average stuff type of you'd see on that TikTok people share all the on time. Social media. But on April 9th, he uploaded a video with what he called a giant on top of a mountain in Jasper National Park. Person, dude. Wow. No, seriously, pull over, pull over. No. It's a person standing there. No, it's not. Dude, have you seen what I've seen right now? For something to be that large from that far of a distance, even with the zoomed in camera, it, would it kind of looks like it could be like a statue of person. some kind. Though. And the story really just gets stranger from here. At this point, Andrew starts to attempt to go back to the mountain or get closer to that spot to film or yeah. find whatever that I, being I was probably that would recorded. Too. This was three days after the first video was posted. We are on our way. We're gonna go find somewhere closer and I'm gonna set my camera on something so you guys aren't complaining how shaky it is in the truck. Because, yeah, internet has no chill. But that's the mountain we're going to. But we're just gonna try to get closer. Here's later on that same day as he's gotten it's closer there. to that mountain. As you can see, that entity or whatever was on top of that mountain is not there. So it was not a structure, but something was actually up there. Okay, I'm going to use this as a oh. tripod to try to keep it. It could have been a structure and they just removed it. But then again, how are they going to get up there to remove it? Helicopter maybe? I don't know steady for you guys and it's not even there anymore too that's where it was yesterday I spoke to some locals and it comes and goes apparently I don't know so the locals know about so it that's me trying to keep it super steady with something to, there we go. do you know how hard it is to keep it steady with zoomed in all the way as you can hear, he said that he spoke to some locals and they said that the thing comes and goes. So this is starting to get into the realm of the story of the wild man or Sasquatch and the different cultures around the world and the different sightings around the entire world have claimed to see this entity walking around in the woods. And this is where I start to wonder the supernatural aspect of it. Is it something living on from the Genesis 6-4 era 
Is it some type of entity that breaks through this dimensional be realm a the same or way something. that UFOs do? What is the supernatural connection here? Because I lean more to the side that this is a supernatural phenomenon all around. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below about what you think these entities are and where they're coming from. I think from Bigfoot is supernatural. The part of the story where he claims to encounter and be followed and stalked by the CIA or some branch of the government. I just got stopped by like some CIA agent. He told me to turn around, said I'm trespassing. I said it's a it's a public freaking it's a public area, like a public park or whatever. Some local told me to take this path. I didn't get it on camera, but I'm gonna go again tomorrow and be prepared to be filming right now because he stopped the vehicle, his truck was blocking it, said some like environmental issue was going on. I don't know, was, he told me to go back and said I was trespassing. I don't get it. It was awkward, but I'm going back again tomorrow to see if he's not there. But if he is there, I will keep camera. I will film because the only angle I could get that that I found today is the one I just posted earlier, and it what there wasn't even anything there. Right. But I don't understand why the road's blocked off. I I don't know. Maybe they saw your April post. 15th, so now four days after the original post, he posts what he claims to be a UFO in the mountain range. I'll show you this video, and then I'll show you a similar looking UFO that I posted on a video on my channel back in 2017. The footage huh. is hard to tell. It's definitely not definitive, but back in 2017, there was a UFO and a video I made on it showing the same similar type of just blob of what they call wow. contrail just in the sky. And as you can see, I'll put that video on screen, how similar that looks. On April 13th, he That's posted really a video where he claimed to be some sort of extraction going on. So they're extracting something out of here. There's two helicopters. What the f now there's two more CIA, what he claims CIA encounters. I'm gonna play those videos and then the story takes a very strange turn. The guy's here again. Yeah, this is this is him. What's going on? Road's close. Turn around. Really? Yeah, man. Just just turn around, please. Okay. okay. Have a good night, man. So that was f***ed up. There he is. I'm driving. Please cooperate again. Just turned around. I don't understand why it's closed off though. It's a public park or public road or whatever. I think that's the same vehicle from. Okay, that's that was creepy. definitely the same video that he encountered up in the mountains. After that video, he doesn't post another video for an entire month, which would of course seem kind of strange if he was faking this whole thing. You'd think he would lead it on or continue to go back to posting other things if say he wanted to be famous and that's why he was faking it. But he doesn't post for another month and then he posts this video, which almost seems like he's being forced to make it. And then looking off screen at like he's looking at someone to make sure he's saying what they want him to say. Hey guys, I just want to give you an update. I'm not dead. I have not disappeared. Uh, I have just been busy with life. I couldn't get around to posting and updating you guys. So now, now I'm going to give you an official update of what's been going on. Sorry to disappoint you guys, but all of the videos that I post... Oh, uh, he's looking at someone. They're scripted. They're just fake. They're just strictly for entertainment. Uh, sorry to disappoint you guys. I just need to give you a quick update. Again, it's strange that he's looking off screen the whole time when he's saying that it's fake, it's scripted. Sorry. Like, sorry I made this. He also looks extremely nervous to me. He looks like he's being coerced, definitely, and he looks really, really nervous. The way he's just kind of hunched over with his hands in his pockets and everything. 
and he's looking off screen as if he's looking at someone to make sure he's saying what they want him to say. The next right. video in this series is the video that I opened my video with, and that's him claiming that his videos were not faked, and the caption that he has on his thumbnail on this TikTok video is, I am scared. You might not see me post ever again. My videos weren't, they weren't fake. That was 10 days after his video before that claiming it was scripted. And the very next day he uploads this huh. video with the caption military. Now that's some kind of structure. What is that? That was not there yesterday. And that was his last upload. All of that is of course very strange, but then tragically and sadly, a month and a half later on July 1st, 2022, the Campbell River Mirror, a local newspaper, posts in the obituaries that Andrew Ryan Watchhorn Dawson Whoa. had sadly passed away. As you can see, this is the same guy. It almost looks as if he's in the same truck he had. And to me, this just all seems so strange that there's a few coincidences to me that just make it seem like this is not staged. The fact that he was posting for almost a year before he posted this whole giant video as well as the fact that right in the middle of this, as while all these videos are blowing up and get tons and getting tons of views, he just stops posting, then returns a month later, says it was faked, 10 days later says it's not fake and he's actually right. scared. And then the tragedy that he passed away a month and a half later. I mean, at some point- How'd he pass away? Coincidences take it to the point where it starts to seem like it's just not fake and there might be something more to this story. This kind of gets into the category of the work of Dave Polites and the missing 411 cases. And while Andrew Dawson didn't go missing, I feel like there is a connection to the people who are going missing in national parks and something going on in the supernatural realm. If anyone has a biblical understanding of how they think the evil realm could do something like cause a disappearance, please leave that in the comments below because that's something I've been trying to put together for a different video I've been putting together here for the past few months. This video is a little different than my normal Bible prophecy videos, but I think that studying the supernatural realm will be an important key to understanding the last day's deceptions that we know will be coming on the earth. I give my condolences to the loved ones of Andrew Dawson. Let's say a prayer for them that they would be comforted in their loss. Let me know what you think about this story in the comments below. Thanks for watching and God bless. I want to know more about it. I want to know how he passed away. Because they didn't even say that. I'm going to have to look for some more stuff on it. Maybe I'll post another video on that. That was really interesting to me. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. I know what I think. I think I think he was taken out. That's what I think. Knew too much type thing. But anyways, now it's time for a joke. I wasn't very hungry today, so I just went and grabbed a kid's meal at McDonald's. Him and his mom were pissed. Ah! Thank you, everybody. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hashtag mean gene, all that fun stuff. And if you like this video, tell all your friends, leave a comment down below. And if you didn't like it, then just shut up. And I will see you next time.